Keith Coleman was a 21-year-old student activist when he was arrested in September 1981. Coleman was part of a group of white activists that were arrested in 1981 by the apartheid government. He, along with eight others, were released in March 1982, a month after Agate's death. Coleman was detained for six weeks. He says... While he is aware of how brutally his fellow comrades were tortured, he was one of the lucky few who were only verbally abused. Unfortunately, that people broke. Um, people were broken by torture. Uh, one, one person I knew did break after his sixth uh, terrible interrogation. He recalls the last few interactions he had with Neil. And I said to Neil, how are you doing? Are you, how are you holding up? And he said, it's hard. It's, uh, I'm having difficulty. Um, and he said that he was being assaulted. Um, and he told me that he had torn his shirt um, during the assault. And he said that he was keeping the shirt as evidence of the assault. The Coleman family was active in assisting detainees. Audrey Coleman explains her role. We came together as parents in 1981 as a small group um, and we sat down and wondered what we could do and started um, uh, demonstrating in the streets, calling for the release of our, uh, of our loved ones. Um, and then slowly began demanding more and more from the government and speaking out to newspapers, to ambassadors, all sorts of people. She says pupils should be taught about that part of history in schools. The youth of today don't really know what happened in those days and it should be part of the education system where they know of the parts of, of the different organisations and the various um, ways that w we resisted. The hearings continue on Tuesday with the former security branch officer Paul Erasmus taking the stand. Nozindombi Mia, SABC News, Johannesburg.